Hi folks, welcome back and Happy New Year. It's the 1st of January and I'm out to blow the old cobwebs away after Christmas. <laughs> it's been a bit of a strange one for my family this year, but um, I'll tell you a little bit more about that later on. I'm walking up the Pedders Way, which is a long distance footpath here in Norfolk, a walk I've done many, many times before. I've got gear with me for an overnight camp tonight, so I'm gonna walk on for another hour or so and then start looking for a, for a good spot to set up camp for the night. Well, that's me all set up. I've got the old smoky hut hot tent. Haven't had that out for ages. And I've got my, um, my little uh, tent heater, a little wood fired tent heater to, to keep me warm through the evening. And I can cook on that as well. It's actually not that cold. <laughs> we had a cold snap before Christmas um, and it's just warmed right up again. 
so I don't really need the um, the tent heater for for keeping me for keeping me warm but it will get colder overnight so it'll be nice just to just to have that heat and um, I can just keep the doors open to try and regulate it a little bit because I'm going to get too hot in there otherwise I think <laughs> yeah but it should be should be really nice um, I'm starting to lose light here um, it's about four o'clock so it's kind of getting to that that time of day it does get darker in the woods earlier than it does when you're out in the open just because that sunlight can't um, you know can't get in it's an overcast day anyway but um, yeah I need to pull my finger out get some get some firewood sorted out um, so I don't have to scrabble around for that uh, you know in the dark there's a there's a few down trees around and branches and things that are caught up so I should be able to cut some short rounds my my wood stove's tiny you know so I have to <laughs> have to cut those rounds quite short and then I'll have to split them up so that I can actually feed them in that's the only downside about having such a such a small um, wood stove I've cut up and split my firewood, so it's a good size to, to feed into my tent heater here. And I've brought with me some fatwood, which I had at home. I just keep a load of it in this plastic container here, and that keeps my chimney, the, the flue for the wood burner, in shape. That's a cylinder, and this kind of goes inside it and just stops it getting squashed. So I'm just gonna um, feather one of these, and I'll use that as my fire lighter to get the, to get the fire going. The stove is <laughs> raging away. It's actually glowing bright red, it's that hot. I've just um, checked the tent, just uh, you know where the flue goes out through the, through the stove jack, through the tent, to make sure that the fabric isn't, isn't too hot, it's fine, it's all, it's all cool enough. Yeah, it's just very thin gauge um, titanium. And one of the features, I suppose, of titanium is that it does, it does glow when it gets hot. So that's fine. I'm gonna um, get, some, get some dinner on the go, 
I've got uh, noodles that I'm going to have tonight. So I've got two uh, dried kind of noodle pucks and I've got some veggies uh, that I'm going to kind of stir fry to go to go with it. I've got spring onions and chili and garlic and some coriander which I'll put on at the end and to, to go with that I've got some pork belly slices, two pork belly slices which I'm going to season with a kind of Chinese style um, seasoning so that should be really nice. Yeah I'm getting pretty hungry. I had an early uh, lunch before before setting off and um, yeah obviously I've had that big walk so I'm pretty pretty hungry now. So I'm going to get cracking. I'm going to do the noodles first, um, get them on to, to soak, and then I can take them off and cook the rest of it. There's my pork. I've got two pork belly slices there and I've got some very <laughs> red looking Chinese style um, seasoning which I'm just going to sprinkle over while they're still in the bag and I can just use my fingers and kind of spread it all over them without getting it all over my fingers. get the spring onions and garlic and chilli chopped up and ready. soy sauce. A little bit of coriander. I can't tell you how good dinner smells. I'm so hungry and I've got a very nice looking Imperial stout to go with it, 10% heaven. Whoa. 
<laughs> and stupidly I bought a spoon with me. <laughs> Mm. Oh, noodles are good. Smoke high. <laughs> the stove went out and I've managed to fill the place full of smoke trying to get it relit and it's just gone out again. <laughs> the um the wood is damp. It will it'll go again. It'll just it just needs a minute. I uh really enjoyed my dinner, really enjoyed it. It was tasty and it was red. <laughs> yeah, really good. It's lovely to be out. Had a bit of a, a weird Christmas, <clears throat> as I uh, as I mentioned earlier. I was um, I was ill just before Christmas, and uh, that kind of yeah it took it out of me for a few days, and um, yeah then I lost my <laughs> lost my sense of taste and smell completely, um, and it's sort of starting to come back now I mean my dinner this evening tasted really good so it must be must be well on the mend but um, yeah that was just before Christmas and um, the day that I was better um, Mrs in the woods uh, became ill and and she's still ill and that was all of Christmas all the way through between Christmas and New Year and New Year's as well we had plans you know we, we were going to go over to my daughter's on on Christmas Eve um, and uh, my wife ended up not being able to join us, which was just a nightmare. It was just, uh, it was just horrible for her, you know. Christmas Day was um, kind of a write-off, really. I mean, we had a nice time, you know. We, we did the presents and all the rest of it, but yeah, it was just all a bit weird with her being ill. But um, yeah, there you go. These things happen. <laughs> so yeah, it's very nice to be out, out, out. <laughs> yeah. I've come to this um, this this pine woodland. I've been here before a few times, and and, and I really like it here. It's um, it's very peaceful. There's a, there's a railway line not too far away, which which you hear from from time to time, but it's not a very busy line. There's like two trains an hour or something, so um, it's not it's not a big issue at all. You know, they're, and they're travelling fast, so they they're you know gone quickly. Yeah, it's nice to be out here in the in the hushed pines. It's actually started raining. <laughs> there wasn't any any rain dew at all this evening and it's not a problem because I'm in the tent and it's nice and nice and warm with my smoldering fire and actually I quite like the sound of the rain on the tent Thank you. 
I've set my bed up. I didn't do it earlier because it restricts the amount of space in here and I wanted to have space to, to have my chair and sit and you know prepare my dinner and cook and, and eat and all the rest of it. So um, <coughs> I've set that up now and I've um, zipped the tent up. The rain has got, got heavier and uh, my gear was starting to get a bit wet so I've just zipped it up but it is getting very warm. <laughs> I've left a gap of about two foot um, at the bottom of the door but even with that it's, it's warm in here so I'm going to let this fire this fire go out, this stove go out. I don't need it um, you know, for, for warmth in here that's for sure. My sleeping bag's plenty warm enough for the temperature overnight tonight. Um, it's just been nice to have a, a bit of a flickering flame coming through the door and to be able to cook on it you know. Yeah, it's been very nice. I've uh, nearly finished my beer. I've really enjoyed it. I've been kind of making it last, savouring it. <laughs> mm. Yeah, very nice. It's a chocolate and vanilla imperial stout. I've got another beer with me, which I will probably open in a minute. It's another stout, not quite as strong as this one. But I'm probably not going to be too much longer before before bed, so I'll I'll have that beer I think, and then and then I'll turn in. It's not that late, but I'm just knackered for some reason. <laughs> I think it's maybe just not doing very much over Christmas, stagnating, eating too much, all the rest of it. Right, that's me. I'll see you in the morning, folks. Good night. Morning folks, I slept, um, I slept very well, but I did wake up almost on the hour from about three o'clock. <laughs> three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, and then I got up at seven o'clock. <laughs> I wanted to be up with um, kind of first light or that sort of early pre-dawn light. And um, I think I just kept waking up thinking it was that time. I should have just set an alarm. <laughs> but no, I slept, I slept well, I was comfortable and I was warm. Yeah, just made a, a cup of coffee, which took forever to come to the boil, the water did. Um, that is the thing about um, 
these tent heaters, they are much slower than, than cooking over a real flame, you know, or over a proper proper stove. You've got to get the you've got to get the, the firebox really hot um, so you get that heat through into your pot. I'm gonna have my coffee and I'm gonna get some breakfast on. I've got some black pudding and um, some chopped tomatoes and a muffin, a bit of brown sauce. Should be just the job. Looking forward to it. Even though I was stuffed from dinner last night, I'm hungry again. <laughs> yeah, stopped raining. It rained through most of the night. It was it was still raining at kind of five o'clock this morning. It just didn't let up at all. Um, but yeah, it's it's clear now. I can see up through the trees, and it's overcast, but but clear. This is my, my black pudding. I've got four slices there of Philip Warren black pudding, brought up from Cornwall by Ginge. Thanks Ginge, I'm gonna look forward to these. I'm gonna cook them up first, and then I'm gonna kind of break them up and just mix the, um, the tin tomatoes uh, through with it, you know? So it just all kind of becomes a, <laughs> a one. So let's get that opened up. Those of you that don't know, um, black pudding is a blood sausage. I think it's called blood sausage in the, in the United States. And it's made from pig's blood, which is why it is the color it is. And when you cook it, it goes black. That's its name. I absolutely love the stuff. And a little bit of brown sauce over the top. I really enjoyed my breakfast, but I couldn't quite finish it. <laughs> it was very rich. So I've just uh, chucked my, my leftovers off into the, into the undergrowth and I'm sure something will find it <laughs> later on. I'm just having a, a last cup of coffee. And I'll let this, um, this stove cool down. I can just um, dig, a little, dig a little hole and, and um, pour the, the embers in. Douse them with a bit of water and that'll be fine. And then I can get everything packed away and head off back the way I came. It's been a really nice camp. I do love this woodland.
Well, that's me all packed away and I've cleaned up the area where I've been. It's a little bit scuffed, you know, where I've been walking around and things, but that'll all, that'll all um, get back to normal within no time. By the time some pine needles drop and uh, new growth comes up in the spring, you'll never, you'll never know I've been here. It's been a really nice camp. I, I needed this. <laughs> I needed a bit of, a bit of downtime uh, after Christmas and just to get out in the fresh air and enjoy a bit of tranquility here amongst these pines. Love it. I've got um, a canoe trip coming up in a couple of weeks time. So that'll be my, my next video. I'm off to Wales with um, some of the lads that I paddled the Great Glen with the year before last. Um, we're gonna be doing a, a, a little white water canoe trip, which I'm very much looking forward to. So that'll be the, the next video in a couple of weeks time. Yeah, that should be something a bit different and uh, exciting <laughs> and cold probably, <laughs> but all good. Yeah, better uh, hit the trail then and make my way back home. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.